Wait, this wait. is Shannon Taylor. Wait, wait. Okay, yeah, I'm wait. your host, and with me is Rob Kevlin. Thank you. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you. And as, as Rob is a headliner singer and going to be opening at Mike uh, Feinstein's under 54th Street. Oh, that's wonderful. On uh, February 22nd at 9.30 p.m., it, it would be insufficient for me to interview him. So I brought um, maestro extraordinaire, uh, mm -hmm. Danny Darrow, had his own career of, of decades with his own band, his own headlining, and he uh, opened, I don't know, for how many people, and, and he was... He was at the uh, Tavern on the Green for, with a series over there, and he has his own show on MNN. But most important of all, he's a terrific singer. I thought we should talk about music. Music was my first passion. Music was, I'm a drummer, I'm a percussionist, but we're not talking about me, we're talking about Rob Kevlin, who uh, is, uh, what do you think about the Feinsteins? I think it's state of the art, it's an amazing venue, um, and I'm, it's, it's where a lot of the Broadway legends perform and um, real, real class acts. So. I met Mike Feinstein mm -hmm. when he was introduced by Jackie Mason as Einstein when he got <laughs> his, his uh, Golden Globe. Oh my God, all right. First of all, Rob, how long have you been singing? Um, I mean, I've been singing since I was five or six, but I started training my voice vocally um, around high school. Around high school? Did you ever, ever go for, uh, for lessons or anything like Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. who did you, you study with? Um, I, first, I started with a gentleman, Felix Molzer. Yeah. Uh, he used to go to Vienna and lead the Vienna Boys Choir. Yeah. Um, and then I studied with the Nancy Evers. Yeah. She performed in a couple of Broadway shows. Yeah. And um, then I trained with Adrian Dore and Richard Mace. Um, and they studied at uh, the Juilliard School. Yeah. All right. Fine. Yeah. Fine. And how many years have you been doing this now? Uh, I would say about 15 or so. About 15, 15 years. years. All right. Now, where have you worked uh, b besides going into Feinstein's? Um, well, I've recently I've been performing with some big bands. I've yeah. been doing some big band work um, with uh, Igor Bootman and Moscow Jazz Orchestra, Rob Stoneback Big Band, yeah. Kathy Jenkins. We've done some performances together. You're yeah. a baritone. Uh, Yes, the baritone. What do you think yeah. of a baritone? Baritone is nice. It's good. I, I, Frank Sinatra. Well, Frank Sinatra, yeah. whatever it is. Robin Merrill. Yeah, yeah. The, the, what, what kind of a range do you have, uh, Rob? Well, I was told I was told by my voice teacher last week that it, it's it's almost four octaves. But I think she, four octaves. Well, I, I think she's just being kind to me. So yeah. um, <laughs> four, it's a very broad range. You, you, well, I, I my because I, I'm. My my notes, my real notes that I belt are more in the baritone range. Yeah. But I. I have a pretty good falsetto, yeah. so I can go up there. Well, so. you can go into your head voice, your chest voice, voice, and everything. Yeah. You know how to do that. And yeah. For, uh, you better know how to do that. Otherwise, it's liable to keel over and just faint. Right, right. <laughs> well, I, have, I have a couple of songs on my album, actually, where uh, I, I utilize that. And here yeah. is the um, album. Yeah. yeah. Daddy. Yeah, I got it up here, too. Yeah. I got it here, too. Yeah. Rob Kevlin. Yeah, it's, it's a, a new, new day. day. It's a new day. But who says it's a new day? <laughs> it's the same old lousy day it's always been. <laughs> All right, now, There's yeah. a song that's a yeah. new day. How does it go? Oh, do you want me to sing it for Yes, yes. Oh, I, I, I would have warmed up. I, I didn't what know did about you that. think you were here <laughs> for? Wait, 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 we also have a, 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 a role in if, if Anna is still with us, because Anna's helping us. Anna, are you yes, there? Yes, we do. I don't know. Uh, do we have a little roll in on uh, Anna? Are you there? It's a new day. And I'm feeling so good. Just because you walk away, it doesn't mean the end. Every time I close my eyes, we fall in love again. a show that's great how many pieces okay. did you have there what kind of a band do you have uh, there? it was a big band that was that one was with the rob stoneback big band yeah 17 yeah. pieces um that was uh was wonderful at fine signs it's going to be smaller it'll be more intimate yeah i'll have uh yakov mayman on sax who, who's the musical director oh, and um, he's toured all over and um 
a big guy in the jazz world and a great pianist and bass. I've heard him many times. He's wonderful. Yeah. He's wonderful. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. you're playing with how large is that orchestra? Uh, 17. That's a, that's a lot. Piece. Wow. A lot of pieces, Danny. Yes, sir. To go have little. you be heard like that over, over 17 pieces, you got to have quite a stimmer. Yeah, and that's and a good You're right. And a good microphone. Yeah, do you <laughs> carry all your own charts and everything? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, in fact, I did some cover songs, but then I also. I had some charts made of some of my original songs. Yeah. So that was pretty cool just to be able to. We did a concert um, at the Middletown Arts Center um, a couple of years ago, and, uh, and I got to perform one of my songs, which is on my album, yeah. uh, which I'll be doing at Fine Signs too, Mesmerized. Um, but it was big band style, so it was yeah. a little bit more up tempo than the more slow ballad y version. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was wonderful with the big band to do that. So, yeah. yeah great. Uh, uh, tell us about the, the, the songs in your album over here. Uh, yeah. It's a new day, Rob Kevlin. Yeah, a new day. T to tell us how many songs have you got? Oh, you got like uh, around the back. Yeah, fourteen. Fourteen. 14 okay. And actually, it was for this particular album because I had recorded an album prior, which was all cover songs, uh, uh -huh. Broadway and standards. I wanted to do original songs. Yeah. And, and um, I actually I sought out songwriters and 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 wonderful songs from all over and it, it took some time but i was able to i got so many songs i wanted to pick the ones that i really connected with and most of these are original songs there's yeah. a couple of covers feeling good crazy little thing called love but most of them are songs Andy, do you know those songs do you know those songs danny no none of them uh, They're not new songs. I go back 70 years. You go Shit. back 300 years. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know those songs. Well, well feel, <laughs> feel, Feeling Good was just on the clip. Yeah, probably okay. Heard, yeah, yeah, all right. Probably I know. I played on drums. It's a new day. Back in the it's 80s. It's a new day. All right. We're going to say yeah. it's a new day. And it's don't day. surrender. Just because you walk up feeling good, mesmerize, say yes, touch the moon, mm -hmm. world of change, tossing and turning, reason to believe, shined on me and round the corner. Any of those violent? <laughs> of course not, because you want to make people happy. Right. You want to make people uh, That's romanticize. Right. That's right, right, Danny? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, most of the songs are my album album are inspirational. There I is love a, songs. Right. I the, love songs. There is a song on there, Tossing and Turning, which is about a hard time in my life. And that was the first song that was ever actually written specifically for me. Um, so I share that in there. But it's, uh, I, I do believe, even on social media, I'm always trying to post positive things, um, just to kind of spread the energy. and. Now, did you ever sing duets uh, with a woman? Or yes, a absolutely. Man? Well, uh, with uh, a lady by the name of Kathy Jenkins. Um, She'll actually also be performing with me. Uh, we'll, well, she'll be singing a song at Feinstein's, I asked her. And uh, we performed at the big band, Rob Stoneback Big Band and the Igor Bootman Moscow State Jazz Orchestra. Um, we worked together on my cabaret show at the Triad years ago. Sure. So, yeah, I, I, I performed at the Triad on drums. I performed on Broadway on drums. Wow. You I wear so many hats. I know the, all the, all the this about The greatest conductor for yeah. me was mm -hmm. the one who did Sondheim shows, mm -hmm. whose son is a famous actor. A wonderful actor, one of the great ones, mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, he was the one who knew how to conduct Seinhahn and let let the singers not overpower the orchestra or the orchestra overpower the singers mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. others do, but mm -hmm. a perfect melt of mm -hmm. uh, of all of that. And mm -hmm. you do so well with an orchestra. That's that's awesome. You have you you have in uh, you're in tune with each instrument, right? Right. Yeah. You know what each instrument is doing. Mm -hmm. I can I can see right, Daddy. That's you got to have a rehearsal, Shannon. Right. You gotta rehearse, right. rehearse, rehearse. Yes, well, well, obviously, but but you cannot go up in front of an orchestra like that and not know what the instruments are doing. No, because right. you gotta carry your own charts. Right. You gotta know your own charts. Right. All right. You gotta you gotta walk around with your own conductor, like I used to do. Walk mm -hmm. around with my mm -hmm. own conductor, and then instead of rehearsing the thing, the conductor would rehearse it, and you'd sit there and you'd listen right. and everything else, and that's how you do it. Right. But you know, but when you do it over and over and over and over again, and you know your charts and you know every every mm -hmm. note written in your charts. Right. It's easy. It's so easy. And, and and there's also the excitement of singing with that many live musicians because when I was younger, for years, actually, this is a nice story. My parents. We, uh, in our house, they, they, uh, in our basement, they built this stage. My sister also used to like to sing. So we used to sing for, for family, for friends. A lot of it was to backing tracks. And I did that for some years. Um, and then when I had the opportunity to start with more with live musicians, and then finally the big band, I mean, that was really exciting. Does being tall help? Does being tall? I never thought about 
thought about that. Okay. Uh, in, what in about terms the of short what? singers, like Sammy Davis was mm -hmm. a short singer, Frank mm -hmm. Sinatra was uh, middle height, and, mm -hmm. and then, but, but Perry Como, mm -hmm. Dean Martin, mm -hmm. all the great Italian singers are usually tall. And, and, and the Spanish singers are tall. And mm -hmm. the three tenors, except for Pavarotti, were two, <laughs> two and a half. You know, <laughs> he was the other way. Right, right. <laughs> but that, that, you find, like, mm -hmm. for the drummer, everybody's eyes is on the drummer. That was mm -hmm. Buddy Rich's line. Right. Yeah, yeah, That's right. why I wanted to be the drummer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you find that before they look at the drummer, they're looking at the singer? Yeah, I mean, I think I think they're looking to be entertained, and I think wh whoever looks like they're really involved and engaged, That's a lot right. of times they'll, right. they'll go look at that. In terms of the height, I mean, I, I always thought of, it, whether you're taller or shorter, if you have a good breathing technique, you know, especially to hold out some of those long notes, oh, yeah. um, Absolutely. Then, then you'll be able to uh, be able to do that. So. There are studies on breathing, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, for yoga, for Pilates, mm -hmm. but there was, uh, there was an actual school yeah. and uh, books written about the proper mm -hmm. breathing with the diaphragm mm -hmm. and so on. That's and right. right, the daddy, mm -hmm. That's you exactly have to have right. an old You don't breathe from the chest, from the diaphragm, mm -hmm. and you got a head voice, you got a chest voice, and everything else, mm -hmm. and you know how to go right into it through here right and yeah. uh, you know basically uh, uh, that's it but you've got to take you got to take your breath and everything and you got to make sure you hold it mm -hmm. and you know what we used to do years ago is we used to have a candle light mm -hmm. a candle mm -hmm. and you used to sing and if the candle went out no good the candle has to go on and the breath has to stay in while you're singing uh-huh yeah yeah uh -huh. So, what who was your mentor in terms of uh, in vocally in terms of yeah. um, well, I mean, all, all my voice teachers that I've worked with in some capacity. Who was responsible for pushing you to stage? Because it's very different to sing in the shower for friends, social occasions, and then go to Feinstein's. Feinstein's is the class. It's the elegant. Yeah, it's like what absolutely. Cole Porter would be. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like at the Carlisle. It's, it's, in fact, Mike Feinstein used to be at the Carlisle. Right. And, yeah. you know, so uh, who pushed you to that level? It, uh, it really wasn't one person in particular. It was kind of what happened was when I was in high school, when I was in college, I was in my circle. I did, I did the talent shows. I did all the, all the musicals. And then afterwards, I had submitted um, some of my music to the radio station, one of the radio stations in New York. And uh, I, I called them. I spoke with them. And then from there, they ended up um, hooking me up with uh, Kathy Jenkins and Nick Levinovsky at the time, who helped stage my own show at the Triad. Oh, and from there, conductor? it started. You have a personal conductor? Um, I don't have a personal personal conductor. I'll volunteer. Yeah. <laughs> I get up there, but I give a speech before I give a conductor. Well, you keep, you keep surprising me with all these things I didn't know about you. So as far as I know, maybe I'll you are a conductor. I'll start a riot. I'll get up there. I'll start a riot. You'd be yeah. responsible for all the rehearsals yeah. because he sits there and he watches. He doesn't want to wear himself out. <laughs> you have to wear yourself out. You enjoy rehearsals, though. I can tell. You well, have to rehearse the, the, the band. I just I feel like by the time you have the actual performance, if you've rehearsed enough, you shouldn't have to think about everything. You should it's just like be able to. Uh, comedy. Okay. Yeah, the only to go. the only problem mm -hmm. was that uh, when I when I used to go, mm -hmm. all right, <clears throat> and and I used to rehearse mm -hmm. the band, or uh, or Jim, my my uh, conductor, used to rehearse the, the band and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And if they weren't playing together, they were not playing together. And you heard one guy, he was out of it. Mm -hmm. You just say, all right, we we don't need you. Mm -hmm. uh, you stay out, mm -hmm. and we narrow it all down to uh, you know to uh, to a basic. If we had to go piano based drums, we go piano based drums. If we because we because uh, you know there's usually eight eight men or more, and and they must play together. Mm -hmm. And when I used to do the cruise yeah. ships, you know, hope. <laughs> when I used to do the cruise ships, mm -hmm. you know everybody would uh, we would talk Greek or they would talk uh, a foreign thing, but the music would hold us together and they would sound great playing together. But when they cut a show, they couldn't cut a show. They could, they could not cut a show. All right, so tell me, how does one reach you? Okay. Um, well, my website is uh, www.robkevlin.com. Um, uh, I'm also on Facebook under Rob Kevlin, and I'm also on the 50 Feinst Feinstein's 54 Below website, and my show is February 22nd, so I'm up there. That's February right. 22nd President's at 9.30. Feinstein's at 9.30. 930. And don't forget, his album, his album, it's, it's a new day. 
It's a new, new day. day. Ron, Rob Kevlin. Rob Kevlin. I want to yeah. thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you so much. It's the a first pleasure. of several. As thank we you lead so up much. to the moment, I thank certainly you. will come. I'll bring people. I, I fill a room. Wow. I get everybody over there just to say they want to see if I can smile or not. <laughs> <laughs> but music is what brings everyone together. And thank I was a much. musician, and that's why we are against bigotry. And thanks thank so you. much for thank watching. You. Thank you. Conversation. 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 Which, thank you, Daddy. Oh, thank you, Shannon. Thank you, thank you, you Shannon. Okay, take thank care. You.